Hello again, Math Ninja here. Today, I am going to embark on a new project. So I'm taking a very difficult class on functional analysis. And the thing is, I love the class, I love the material, but I'm very bad at doing proofs, I would say. And doing proofs is essential to mathematics. That is mathematics. Actually, one of the things my professor told me Reading the material, going step by step, and understanding the material, and understanding the proof, it's not enough. You have to be able to think about it, re-derive the material. Also, there's another reason why I want to do this. Well, so my project is that I want to be able to re-derive all the main theorems in class. So every two days, I'll be posting a theorem, and I'll be working on it, and I'll be stopping in between. If I get stuck, and I'll try to rederive it on the spot. There's also another reason why I'm doing this. In math, a lot of times you will get crushed, and you'll have to get back up again. This professor in particular, as a freshman, the first time I took manifolds, I had no clue, and he crushed me. And it took me two years to get up again. Two years. This time, my life is very good. I have a few A plus, I have an A plus in math and a few A's. I'm working my, my honors thesis with Solomon Pfefferman. And there's this girl. This girl who loves me. Oh, that I love more than anything in the world. Bah. Bah, that is, is never mind. That is not important. Math is very important. The girl I was talking about was math. Anyway, uh, oh, by the way, this is Aki. Aki, the ninja dog, cheap dog. I decided today I may need an assistant because this may be difficult. So the f also, I will use the back of his thing as an eraser. It'll be fine. So the first thing I want to talk about is the proving completeness of a certain space. So, recall that a Bonnock space is a complete norm space. Complete meaning that every Cauchy sequence converges to a point in that space. And remember, Cauchy sequence, after a point, they all bunch up within as long distance. So, that's Cauchy sequence converges with Bonnock space with respect to the metric induced by the norm. So, the thing I want to prove today is about the L infinity norm, L infinity space, which equals to the set of all functions such that, or actually all sequences, I'm sorry, what am I thinking? Let's say L infinity sub R, all sequences. X I where X I is in R and it's um indexed by the natural numbers. Also, on this space in this set we define an in a uh, norm. Norm is the supremum norm. So supremum of X equals the soup of X i over all i in exponential natural numbers. Okay. So first thing, okay, Aki, do your job. So first thing I want to show is that all Cauchy's is, so I want to show that this space, the L infinity space, with real real numbers in the with sequence elements in the reals is a complete space. So what do we first know? We first know we take an arbitrary Cauchy sequence. Such that 
x i minus x j oh x okay so I take a sequence of elements in infinity it's called x i So, okay, we take a Cauchy sequence for any epsilon greater than zero. This guy is less than epsilon. Whenever, okay, exists an n such that this guy is less than epsilon whenever i comma j is greater than n. Oh, by the way, this guy is actually equal to supremum. I minus xj over k absolutely over k less than epsilon for all k in that Okay. So what do we first do? If we have to find do three things. One thing we have to do. We have to find a candidate. What does this Cauchy sequence converge to? This arbitrary Cauchy sequence. Secondly, we have to show that the Cauchy sequence. Wait, we have to show that candidate is in this space. Oh, by the way, actually no. And lastly, we have to show that the Cauchy sequence converges to the candidate. Let's call the candidate x hat. Okay, you understand? Good? Good? Good. Good? Anyway. First thing we have to show is so we have this norm. We have this Cauchy sequence. What is a potential candidate? Well, let's look at all the sequences. Well, you know, if you look... Okay. Just, just take a column. Just take a column. Look at all the sequences and take a column. And you say to yourself, you know what makes sense? Let's see. Let's say, for example, let's see the, the columns. They're sequences of reals. Why can't they each each sequence each um column? Why can't they converge to a real number using the completeness of the reals? So, but let's see this. And if you look at this. We know that xi minus xj is less than epsilon for any i comma j greater than or equal to n, right? Remember, or actually let's say that. This guy means the soup over all k in n of xi minus xj k less than epsilon. In particular, this means you just for any k. For this guy, any k. Um x i minus x j to the k or x j graduated at k is less than less than equal to Excellent. Less than epsilon. So, what does this say? This means looking at the column, the cave column, you can see it. It's gonna, we can see it as a Cauchy sequence. Sequences of real numbers. And this is for any k. Yeah. Not, I don't want to reuse it twice. Let's say k. 
Okay. So this is our candidate. Our first candidate will be. Oh. 